Hi, Dr. Milky, back with another message about plantar fasciitis uh, in my car. And sometimes I just have to do it from here because the uh, message is timely uh, and it's hot and I've got to get it out as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I might forget. Anyhow, I saw two patients in my office this week, both with chronic pain in their ankle. And, you know, ankle, of course, is not the plantar fascia, but uh, stay with me. This is instructive for the plantar fascia as well. Uh, they both have had pain for about a year and they had both seen at least one other doctor. And I think in both cases, a couple of doctors. And what just baffled me is the fact that um, after having chronic pain for a while, neither the doctors ordered an MRI. Uh, and when, you know, traditional things just aren't working, sometimes you don't have the correct diagnosis and you can't just make it up and say, you know, well, you just sprained your ankle, you injured your ankle, it's gonna heal. Well, that's not really true. <laughs> um, we gotta figure out what it is first, diagnosis. And I know this happens with plantar fasciitis a lot. People come in, they think they have plantar fasciitis, they've been told they have plantar fasciitis, they may have symptoms that seem like plantar fasciitis, but the diagnosis is not always plantar fasciitis. Diagnosis before anything else We've got to know exactly what we're dealing with because if we're throwing treatments at what we think is something and it's something else, then it's not going to work and we're all going to get frustrated. And then you, the patient, you're going to be running into a number of doctors trying to figure out what the heck you have and why you're not getting better. So diagnosis, number one.